Hey people! What's up? What is What's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? not see you there. You know, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just set up my tripod and put the lighting on the tripod and put the camera on the tripod. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just hit record just so I can look like I didn't know that you were there. Even though that is being fake. I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because I just don't. Being fake is fun. Being fake is luxurious. Even though being fake is tiring, I'm still gonna do it. You know why? I'm still gonna do it because I benefit off being fake, if you know what I'm saying. Basically today guys, I'm going to be telling you a list of things that I believe makes someone qualify for the being fake discount. You know how Sam's Club got a card? Y'all get a card too. Y'all get a whole certificate for being fake. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's get to number one. <laughs> Never pays attention. I'm talking not in general, but I'm talking never pays attention to you. Never pays attention to what you want, to what you like, to what you're saying. Basically, the friend who you tell how you don't like certain things being done, like if you tell them your pet peeves or you tell them you don't like this, if you're talking and they just don't care, basically. So you tell them your pet peeves, they still do it. You tell them that you don't like this, but they still do it. You know what I'm saying? And they just make you feel like you're invisible. Number two, switches up in front of people. This basically explains itself because you know someone is fake when they do something that they wouldn't have done if it was just two of y'all. You wouldn't have done it. You wouldn't have said that if it was just two of us. You wouldn't have acted like that. You wouldn't have walked like that if it was just two of us. You know that they switch up. They just act like a whole different person. Let's say if they're nice to you, like, in private. And then someone else comes around and all of a sudden they make it seem like, uh, you should be honored to be my friend type of thing. They just make you feel like you're supposed to be honored or something. Number three, blacks you out when they're around other people. Let me explain this, okay? Because it happened to me and I'm going to be very upfront about it so i was friends with this girl i transferred to her school we used to be like close in middle school and then my 11th grade year I transferred to her school right and then during lunch and during breakfast she would invite me to her table she was friends with this other girl so when i would get to her table they would get up and leave like they would just legit walk out and i'm like what the heck maybe i'm tripping so I, like, I thought just maybe i was tripping i'm like Okay, I'm not gonna sit with y'all again because I didn't want to sit there. I wanted to sit outside because it's comfortable sitting outside, whatever. And then she was like, no, just come sit with us. And they're having their own conversation, etc., etc. And they just walk out. So I'm like, okay, throw it out. What? So uh, then the second time we were walking around the school and then I was just like in the back. I was basically third willing for the little friendship. She didn't look back to say anything. She just said, oh, are you okay? You're this, you're that, you're that, you're that, you're that, you're that. And I was like, well, you're walking fast. And then she was like, walk up. And I was like... Well, okay. I don't like anybody feeling left out. So if you third one in the back, like, you back there. Like, come up here. Like, I'll make jokes. I'll try to, like, have conversation with everybody. Because I don't like nobody feeling left out. Because I don't like feeling left out. You know what I'm saying? She invited me again. I'm like, you know what? I said I wasn't going to go. But maybe I was just tripping. So let me just go there. And they did the same thing. They left. Like, she didn't even say anything. So I was like, hmm. That's cool. And then she was left to be lonely because the girl transferred to another school and I cut her off. Because I'm like, nah, I'm good. Sis, I'm good. Yeah, because she was being super fake. And I was like, I don't got time for that. Number four, they make you feel uncomfortable for being who you are. If your friend basically shames you for being weird or being extra or being this or being that, if you feel like that you have to always watch what you say around your friends, you have to pick and choose what you do around your friends, and they are fake because you're not supposed to be feeling uncomfortable. You're not supposed to be feeling shame. You're not supposed to be feeling in a box. They're supposed to make you feel like, you know what, I can be who I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Number five, make you feel dumb basically this speaks for itself as well because if your friend makes you feel dumb for something that you were never sure about in the first place then they are fake if you ask a question they just look at you like you're dumb they are fake don't let nobody call you dumb point blank okay i'm recording i'm recording i'm recording Number six, they'll do you wrong, but when you do the same thing that they did to you, they act shady. They act funny. Like, you did it to me first. Why are you tripping? 
You know what I'm saying? Let's say they keep touching your hair, right? And then you're like, you know, this is kind of annoying, but they're my friend. Like, whatever, you can touch my hair, I guess, whatever. And then when you touch their hair, they act some type of way. Uh, you be touching my hair and, like, you low-key knew I didn't like it, but I just let you do it because you just like the texture of my luxurious hair. You know what I'm saying? And they just, basically, that's kind of a bad example, but you get what I'm trying to say. They are a hypocrite. They do unto others what they wouldn't like being done to them. Seven. They say they missed you, but they were never trying to get in contact with you in the first place. Like, so let's say if you move and like you, or like let's say you missed a couple of days of school, and they're like, when you get back, I missed you. Like, what the heck? But the whole time they never texted you. You okay? Where you at? This that. This that. This that. Don't don't miss me. Don't act like you care because you did not try to be in contact with me in the first place. Like, I don't like people like that. They be like, oh, I missed you. And I'm like, I ain't missed you because you didn't check on me. Eight, they hang around people that sneak this about you. Now, let me be more elaborate about this. I'm not saying that your friends can't be friends with people you don't like. Okay, because I'm not the type of friend to try to make people pick and choose. Like, if you want to be friends with them, go ahead and be friends with them. But I will not associate with them at all. But I'm talking about they legit sneak this about you and you know they talk smack about you but your friend is still hanging around them unless my friend is there to get intel about what they're saying you shouldn't be around them that's being a fake friend like because most likely most likely if they're talking smack then your friend is talking smack as well like because you know your friend not gonna just sit there like hmm no, they're most likely engaging. Oh, true, that's, that's true. That's true, that's true, that's true. Number nine, doesn't support you. I'm talking about, let's say you have a SoundCloud. Let's say you have a YouTube channel. Let's say you're trying to start a business. Let's say you want to run for prom queen. Let's say you want to run for president. And your friend is over here not supporting you. Let's say business-wise, you have a store. And your friend, instead of saying, oh, uh, do you want me to, like, promote your business? Like, post it on Instagram. Instead of saying that, they're like, oh, you should find me something for free. Not even in a joking manner, but they're adamant that they just, you know, want something free. That's not support. And especially if you have a YouTube channel as well, like, your friends should, even if they don't watch it, hit that like, hit that subscribe, comment here and there, yes, sis, yes, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, make it seem like you're there for that person, yeah? And if your friend have a sound cloud, hype them up. Like, if it's not good, then critique, but don't leave your friend hanging, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of friends don't support their other friends. You let your friends suck in front of everybody, in front of the whole world. Critique them, help them out, support them, like, don't just let your friend look stupid nine you get into arguments and they state hurtful things the thing about this is if they could say hurtful things they were never real with you to begin with honestly like anger really brings out what people really think about you it really does like if you could sit here and say oh i don't like you anyways like i had your man this that or you say oh you're, you were dumb anyway like i really don't even care like after an argument then you are fake like you are friends with the person if you had something to say say it during the friendship don't wait till you're not friends anymore you're fake Ten. make fun of your insecurities this is a very like sensitive thing okay because it's happened to me before y'all already know my insecurities but i'm working on that okay so if your friend jokingly if they say oh that's why your nose is super big or that's why you're probably never gonna be smart enough that's why you're fat or like <laughs> You better not sit on that. You might break the seat. Or, uh, where you at? The light's off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if your friend is over here sitting, joking about your insecurity, they are fake. Because you should not, like, joke about anybody's insecurity point blank at all. Like, don't. 11. Doesn't return your calls or texts, but watches your snaps. This is mostly related to modern day technology. Like, let's say if you have a friend, call them, they don't answer. You text them, they don't answer. But you see that they on Snapchat. You see that they're online on Instagram. But they not returning your call. You watching my Snapchat, but you couldn't text me back. You couldn't call my phone. This is happening to me, and the person that's doing this to me cut off like point blank. You want to watch my snaps, but you don't want to be in contact. Like I don't have space for you in my life. I don't got time to waste because you are fake, and that's the type of mindset you have. Do not let people walk over you. Even though you want to see the best in people, you want to give people chances. Some people legit don't deserve it. You could forgive them, but they don't have to be in your life. 13. They always talk about their self, but never care about what you have to say. It's like this. They're always like bragging about their self. Always talking about their problem. But when it comes to your problems, it's like a way for them to backtrack into their problems again. They don't ask you how your day was. They don't ask you, uh, you got home safely. They don't ask you nothing. It's more of them, 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 them. 
they are fake. They will throw you under the bus as soon as they have a chance. You know more about them than they know about you. 14. Talks bad about your friends and your inner circle. One friend is talking bad about the other friend that's in the circle. They are fake. Because if they could talk about that friend, they could talk about you. So be careful who's in your circle. You probably think they're your friends now, but over time you'll be like, dang, I was really only your friend because we had the same class. Only your friend because we worked at the same place. Only your friend because we knew the same people. Don't just be friends because, you know, it's convenient. You know what I'm saying? Like, 15. Doesn't want you to advance, but wants their self to be more successful than you. Let me explain in a easy example. Anyways, there was this girl that I was cool with for a while only because she was cool with somebody that I used to be cool with. <laughs> So basically like I did her hair right and then I posted myself on her snapchat and I was like ah follow me follow me and then we exchanged Instagram she asked me for a shout out so I gave her a shout out and she was like I'll give you a shout out too she gave me a shout out when I posted myself on snapchat and went home she deleted the thing that I posted on Instagram and deleted the thing that I posted on snapchat but you asked me for a shout out why are you deleting the post I didn't even delete mine it's deleted when I delete mine you know what I'm saying like she didn't want people to follow me you see that your friend doesn't really care about your success like say you have a soundcloud and they make a sound cloud basically to complete with you subconsciously then they are fake they don't promote yours but they want you to promote theirs that's all so i hope you enjoyed today's video comment down what else you think makes someone fake and i'll put more information in the description box